I'll keep that going with some terrible teal news, unfortunately. Jaguars rookie receiver Justin Blackman is wearing orange instead of teal after being arrested for his second DUI. Oh, boy, not the way we wanted to start the week. This news over the weekend. Police in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where he is or was arrested, say he was three times over the legal limit. I'm joined right now this morning by attorney and NFL certified sports agent John Phillips. John, this is terrible news, first of all, but what kind of effect do you think this could have on Blackman and the Jaguars, really, on and off the field? Off the field, you know, this is his second DUI, but his first DUI in Oklahoma, the first one was in Texas. So he's, and it's charged as aggravated DUI, which can be a felony. So there's, there's anywhere from, you know, five to ten days mandatory in jail, and there could be more. On the field, the NFL, it, despite the fact he hadn't signed his contract yet, the NFL, he's still within the Roger Goodell's powers to sanction him under the disciplinary conduct code. So he could be facing, especially this being, again, his second DUI, they go back even though it was prior, he could be facing a suspension. And some of those things are different now with the new CBA, and the Jaguars really can't punish, it'll be the NFL that will punish Correct. him. Correct, because it's under alcohol and drugs, it's the NFL. And most people I talked to over the weekend on Sunday when this news broke said, why? why? I mean, what are you doing? I mean, it's already had it once. You can't even put yourself in this situation, well, obviously. His, his problem is the way he came out to the, to the Jaguars and to the media and said, look, this has never happened again. It was a stupid mistake. And then to happen and to happen in this fashion, 0.24 at 3 a.m. by himself, you know, he's about to make $8,000 a day. Get a cab. You know, that's what people don't understand, especially with, with all the fatalities that happen from DUI. We're looking at a chart right now, John. 0.24. I mean, this is, this is dangerous levels of alcohol. Uh, when, it, when you're at the combine and they say you're off the charts, it's a good thing. When you're off this chart, it's a bad thing. You know, this is per hour, and you metabolize about one alcoholic drink an hour. Well, he had to have consumed quite a bit of alcohol for quite a bit of time to get a point two four. This is, like I said, this is an hour, and you would have been completely been off his charts with over 12 drinks, but he drank it over a long period of and time. And he blew that level that you, we say point two four at like 3 or 4 in the morning. Correct. It could so have been higher. It could have been higher. You know, I'm, su I'm surprised they haven't already tried to make excuses with his agent saying, hey, you know, he's on medication or something else. You, you know, you never know. And, you know, there is a chance if he gets... Um, if they can, he was speeding and crossing a line. If they can fight those, maybe they can fight the DUI. It all, it all comes together, but it's, it's an uphill battle for him. John Phillips, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. More on this story, you can go to actionnewsjacks.com. This isn't going anywhere, folks. Don?